The cricket fever is gripping on sports enthusiasts as India gets ready to host the World Cup for the first time as a standalone country. Ten teams from around the world, 45 days of action on the pitch and 48 matches in all. Well, it's not just the adrenaline rush, but also a massive boost that the economy expects to get from consumption during this World Cup season. According to some news reports, Indian economy could get a $1.5 billion or a 13,000 crore rupee booster shot. This is more than what the economies of UK and Australia and New Zealand really received during the World Cups that they had hosted. According to ICC's official website, the Men's Cricket World Cup held in the UK in the year 2019 gave the country's economy a boost of $350 million. Whereas Cricket World Cup that was held in 2015, which was co-hosted by Australia and New Zealand, generated a revenue of 1.1 billion Australian dollars or $695 million. And it's not just the ticket booking at the stadiums which is behind this economic booster. Fans will be flying to different cities, following their favourite teams around the country. Taxis, buses will be booked for intra-city travel. Hotels have also been booked to capacity in host cities. Hotel prices have also surged sharply. The hotels, which used to charge about four to 5,000 rupees for a room per night, have now increased their prices to even 40,000 rupees, all the way up to even 1 lakh rupees. Restaurants and even roadside eateries are expecting a bumper business this season. Companies like Somato, Swiggy and even Jubilant Foods, the owner of Domino's Pizzas, are also gearing up to fulfil huge surge in orders that they expect during the season. Merchandise and souvenir shops are also stocking up for the World Cup rush. The tourists will be crowding these local hotspots as well. The sectors which have already begun seeing benefits are the airline and the hospitality industries. There is a massive surge in flight bookings, especially for high-octane face-offs like India-Pakistan or England-Australia. Travel companies have also reported a huge rise in the online searches for hotel bookings, flight searches. Also with the Pakistan versus India clash scheduled for 14th of October in Ahmedabad, flights to the city from Delhi and Mumbai are either full or are already selling at 5 to 10 times the normal price. The BCCI is also doing its own bit for the local city economies by spending 50 crore rupees in ramping up the infrastructure and facilities in all the 10 stadiums and this is per stadium that I'm talking about so 500 crore rupees is already factored in what the BCCI is spending. Assuming a 100% occupancy across all matches in all the 10 stadiums the total number of attendees is already estimated at 24.8 lakh. And also, when we see what this could really lead to, when we talk about the bump up that we could see, these 10 cities where these matches are being taken place, Ahmedabad, Lucknow, Dharamshala, Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Pune, Bengaluru, Chennai and even Hyderabad. The other industry that's expected to flourish in this environment is the Kashmiri willow manufacturing industry. Known for their world-class bats, Kashmiri bat producers are working round the clock to fulfil the soaring demand of cricket bats right ahead of the World Cup. A spokesperson of the Bat Manufacturers Association has already told in media about the demand surging to 15 times as compared to last month. Overall, regardless of the World Cup result, whether or not our men in blue really win the cup, the Indian economy is sure to win this one.